Hi everyone, it's your host, Grace Hemingway, and today we have a special guest here with us today. Our guest has been practicing karate since she was six years old. At 12, she earned her first degree black belt in Shotokan karate. As a senior student in her dojo, she helps teach the after school classes and serves as a mentor for younger students. Our guest is a former USA and KF national champion and silver medalist, two time AAU national silver medalist, and a member of the, U- of the USA and KF or the USA national team and also the AAU national team. She is also an AAU Junior Olympic gold medalist, gold and silver medalist. Our guest is dedicated to working hard every day to be the best she can possibly be. She believes anything is possible if you put your mind to it, because you always have to put your mind to it to achieve what you can do. And self confidence, and she's determined. Well, my name's Sydney Lavarnoy, obviously. Um, and I, like you said, I've been doing karate since I was six, and I feel like it's taught me like a lot of self confidence and self resilience, and definitely patience. But it's also taught me how to like problem solve especially if I'm like down in points in a Kumite match. Um, And it's, I actually, even though we do mostly sport karate, I like to add more of a traditional like kata component. Like when I practice at home and when I compete, um, so like I'll meditate and stuff, so. Why did you choose karate over any other kind of sport? I chose karate because I kind of like the individual part of it, like going out there by myself. um, And I tried some other sports in like PE and kindergarten, first grade and obviously at recess and I didn't like those as much. And so when I started karate, I actually found I liked it and it was something different and it kind of suited who I was. And I continue to do it because I like to compete. Um, And I also like the kind of like team presence when you're competing, even when you're going out on the mat by yourself most of the time. How important is conditioning to you? For example, like running, heavy weight, lifting, and like punching a, um, a punching bag. Like the supplementary conditioning is really important to me because I can do things at home, like the lifting or the running that we don't, wouldn't do in classes. Hmm. And so it's, helpful when um like that's something else we can work on and um like not just just going to class and doing like reverse punches over and over again because we can like build the muscle and make those reverse punches more powerful at home what would you say is most important of a superior karate competitor? Probably self-confidence because they need to trust in themselves and that they've mastered their techniques and um, they can put like their tools out with them. And then I can actually use those techniques and win. And so that they have to believe in their self and how they can like, I don't know, just what, what they can do, like their abilities. Yeah. About like how many days do you practice? Like how many days, like every day, every like five times a week? Well, I 
mostly go to classes three times a week. Um, but then I'll also train at home. And that's usually going to be five to six days a week. Wow. For me, um, I kind of just practice when I feel ready to kind of do my techniques. What is your favorite technique? Like reverse punch or jab or roundhouse kick or um, hook hack? Um, I really like to kick. Um, so probably my front right roundhouse kick. But I'm pretty sure I'm more comfortable with like my right hand reverse punch because that's what we normally practice, mm. kind of. Wow. For me, my favorite technique is probably reverse punch and roundhouse kick with any leg. I'm fine with any. So if you had like a time machine and could go back to your younger self, because you're here right now, and then if you could go back to when you were six years old again, what would you tell yourself? To always believe in yourself and your abilities, whether that is for like sport, like karate, or like life and social or academically, you have to believe in what you can do and just to keep going and like karate related like to commit to all your techniques and walk off all your tournament mats whether you won or lost saying you did your best and you like just put everything you had yeah what training advice would you give to other people who wish to start a training program or have already competed or practiced karate? To those who wish to start a training program, I would say you need to start with being consistent and to not like overdo it and let's do basic things first. Um, and to those who have already done that and want to like compete at national, or international levels, or just our elite athletes, um, to remember the end goal, because that going to those higher competitions takes a lot of hard work, and then being up on the podium takes even more hard work, and so if you remember the end goal, you'll be more motivated to do it. How has karate helped you in school? Well, um, like, I guess going back to the self-confidence thing, um, I would say this mostly applies to math because um, I'll constantly want someone to double check my work or go back and do it in like a calculator like two or three times. Um, and I have gotten... I don't do that as much anymore um, than I used to. And I think like having self-confidence and being able to actually believe that I know I can do it. Cause like, I know I can do math or like write an essay, but I always need like someone to double check my work when I know I'm right most of the time. Can you share with us your favorite moment in any, like any kind of competition? This was a really long time ago, but my first nationals, I think I was eight and I won gold and uh, for Kumite. Um, I just remember being really happy and really pleased with myself because I was able to put all my work out there. And um, it was just like the first time I felt like I was able to accomplish something really big. How do you prepare physically before um, a tournament? So how do you prepare right before you're about to go on the mat? Um, if, so like right before I'm about to go on, I'll like do mostly 
like I'll warm up, but mostly it's mental things like making sure my heart isn't going like three times its normal speed because I'm really nervous. So I like take take breaths like, yes, and I'll like meditate or visualize. Um, do each move in like a kata or if I'm doing a match, visualizing myself doing each move precisely and um, visualizing the outcome I would prefer. How would you define leadership? Um, to, you just kind of have to like show other people what's right. And that's not necessarily about telling them what to do. You just kind of show them with your actions how to do it or what they're supposed to do. Um, yeah. Have you ever lost in any kind of match? And what do you think the takeaway lesson was? That? Um, that I just need, mostly for me, I need to commit more and um, get out of my own head. Um, and even if it's only like maybe gonna work, I should still just try it anyway. Um, because it's rather me trying everything I can and still losing versus not sure if it's going to work so I don't try and then losing and be more disappointed. Well, after you lose a match or anything, what, like, keeps you up at night? Is it, like, how you lost and how you're wondering how you can learn from it or just, like, oh, my gosh, I lost. How did I lose? Probably the first one. Like, how can I learn from it? How can I do better next time? What can I do to be more prepared? Those kinds of things. What brings you joy in life? Well, um, I like to read. And so, like, reading would bring me joy. And then doing karate. And more recently, I like working with small children and teaching them. And then I also like to just hang out with family and friends and um, I like baking. And so recently I made a cheesecake with my cousin via FaceTime and so that, I, I really enjoyed that. Wow. I love cheesecake too. And I also love baking a lot. They're all fun things. What is one piece of advice you could give you could give someone wanting to do what you're doing? Um, do you mean like karate or just competing? Anything. Um mm, answering these kinds of questions are kind of hard. But um if I wanted to tell someone or give advice for someone to doing what I was doing, I would probably say just try whatever you can do, be creative and be yourself, be weird. Don't really care what most people think. Yeah. What is a key resource that, that has helped you along the way, like along your journey? my parents <laughs> they have taken me places um like chicago or vegas or colorado um and they also like push me but also my sensei she pushes me really hard and tries to get me to be like the best of my ability and tries to get me to try. And she's been coaching me for a really long time and is really amazing. Well, shout out to her. Well, what is one way that you are helping to make your community or your neighborhood or whatever, like better? Every now and then, especially if it's really bad, I'll go into like the woods next to our house and I'll pick up like trash and stuff. And then um, 
I'll go to a food bank sometimes and help there. Um, and I'll give like my old clothes and toys away to like Goodwill or something. Oh, impressive and really nice and sweet. Wow. What do you think is the greatest opportunity humanity has in this moment? Um, probably with our technology, we like how we can talk from one side of the world to the other. And we can also go to all these places in like faster time than we used to be able to. And it's just kind of impressive how we can do all that now and we couldn't like a hundred years ago. Yeah. What is your favorite success quote and why? Ooh, I don't know if I can say this right, but um, Wayne Gretzky said, you miss a hundred of this, hundred percent of the shots that you don't take. I really like that because like when I don't commit, to any techniques, I always think of that because I'm not actually going out there and putting like my effort in. Um, and so I'm not really taking all those points or shots. Um, and if, and so I'm automatically missing them. But if I tried, then I could actually probably get some of those points. And it would mean, I, I, I just like tried harder and I, like believed in myself more. What is your next goal or next achievement that you want to, or what is your next goal that you want to achieve in karate? Um, well, I think for like long-term and like a couple of years, I'd like to go to like Pan America and then more short term, like next nationals, I'd like to get a gold or at least medal at that. But I'd like to go to Pan America one day and then even farther if I'm more successful, maybe the Junior Olympics in 2026. Oh, yeah. I'll be cheering wherever you are for you. Well, I'll be cheering for you. Well, thank you. <laughs> What is one of your favorite childhood memories? Mm, every year we bake Christmas cookies. And so one year I remember my dad, me and my grandmother all making these cookies. Um, that's probably one of my favorites. And then my mom and me used to bake cookies and we bake muffins now. And so I just like baking. <laughs> What are you, what is something you're not good at? Because for me, I mean, I think I'm really good at karate, but I do mess up on some techniques. I'm just like, I have to work on this. Um, karate related? Um, probably for technique wise, my hook kicks, hmm. especially my left hook kick because my left hip isn't as like, flexible mm, yeah um I could always work on believing in myself mentally and pushing myself but um yeah I mean for me it's definitely my techniques my punching sometimes I don't always get it into like the center target I always end up going out and then also just me and my hook kicks too I mean, I'm really good at them, but I, I always have to remember to actually flick them. What, what are your, what is your, what, oh, sorry, what are the benefits of a growth mindset for you? Um, that, so the benefits of a growth mindset they continue well the i'm continuously being pushed to like 
improve the things and like everything can be improved to some level. So to continue improving and continue trying my best and having that growth mindset means I can improve and try my best. And I can like just go farther in life. What is the one takeaway you want viewers to walk away with from our conversation today? Um, no matter what situation you're in, to always believe in your own self and what you're able to do, like your abilities. Um, no matter if it's, uh, it could be just life in general. Believe in yourself, always have the confidence that you can do amazing things. Well, everyone, you heard it from her. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a nice day. And also, thank you, Sydney, for joining us. Thank you for um, reaching out to me and letting me have this amazing opportunity. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.